Hey everybody, what's going on? Vinny here from Anything Android. Today I'm going to show you how to get Sense 3.0 on your Evo 4G. Okay, so you've probably seen uh, 3.0 maybe in my review video of the Kingdom VR ROM or maybe on the HTC Sensation or the Evo 3D. Either way, if you want it on your phone, this is the video you got to watch. Okay, so basically um, I'm a little far into the steps here just uh, to cut down the video a little bit but I'm still going to show you guys exactly what to do so what you're going to do is you're going to connect your phone to USB here alright and you can go into your SD card and you're going to back everything up as you can see over here off to the side I have uh, the main files that I want to keep backed up. I have my uh, DCIM, which is your media, uh, pictures and videos, stuff like that. Your down, My downloads, my music especially, uh, my Nandroid backup folder, and my t titanium backup folder. Uh, you can back up anything else, but you have to back up it back it up on your computer because everything will be removed from your SD card and I mean everything will be removed from your SD card okay so don't complain if you decide to skip that step and you have nothing on your SD card so anyways don't forget to back everything up that you want to keep uh, I would highly recommend just just selecting everything and back backing it up on your desktop but anyways you guys um, what you're going to do is you're going to boot up into recovery, okay? So, unplug my USB here. Go over to my table so you guys can get a better look at this. Alright. Okay, so. What you're going to do is you're going to go down the partition SD card you're going to need to download all three files below uh, if you already have the latest build of our recovery you obviously don't need that but if you do not have that you're gonna need that so make sure you uh, install that on your phone before you try to do this because clockwork recovery isn't going to work properly alright so basically once you have our recovery on your phone uh, you have everything backed up you're gonna load into recovery and you're going to select partition SD card okay after you select partition SD card you can click partition SD it's going to ask you uh, to confirm it by pressing the power button so you press the power button uh, it's going to ask you for a swap size and you can uh, click down on the volume rocker and click zero alright it's going to then ask you for a EXT2 size you're going to again go up on the volume rocker this time until you hit 2048 okay so 2048 megabytes alright I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that but it says swap size here it says 0 megabytes and then it says extension, extension 2 size it says 2048 megabytes okay so click the power button to confirm you're going to do that and it says continue press it one more time I'll partition it. I'm going to cut the waiting time out. Um, so I'm going to set this phone down. We'll wait for it to uh, finish partitioning the SD card. I'll see you guys in a second or two. Alright, you guys, it's completed uh, partitioning the SD card. So after that's done, you're going to see these options up top. Alright, it's going to say uh, return, partition SD, repair SD. Uh, SD extension 2 to X, uh, extension 3, X, SD extension 3 to extension 4. You're going to click SD extension 2 to extension 3, okay? You confirm that. Let it do its thing there. You're going to do this three times. This is the first time, okay? So, you're going to wait for it to do its thing. All right, guys, completed that one. So we're gonna do it another time. 
Press power twice to confirm. And once more. Now that's finished. Right, take it over to your computer and plug it into your USB cable. Okay, we're going to hit return on our recovery. All right. And so you hit return, you're going to click USB MS toggle. Click that. All right, it says USB enabled. Go over to your computer. As you can see, your SD card is completely empty. Okay, so you're going to take those two files that you downloaded, the Kingdom ROM and the EVO uh, PRI downgrade, okay? Drag and drop those onto your SD card. And give it a minute or two to do that. All right, so once that is transferred over, go ahead and close it. Um, plug your USB cable. Oh. Press power to disable first. Once it says it's disabled, go ahead and unplug it. Um, I'll take you guys back over here. Okay. Once that's complete, you're going to go to slash zip from SD card. Okay. And go choose zip from SD card. And click the Evo PRI downgrade. All right. Install that. And it's going to go through it and it'll say reboot. Okay. So, I'm going to go, wait, so. okay, so we're going to return, and we're going to reboot system now, click it, okay, we're going to let that do its thing, uh, it won't take very long. Okay, guys. Now that's done. Okay. So once that once that's complete, we're gonna go flash zip from SD card. This is the final step. You're almost there. Choose zip from SD card and VR Kingdom B1.1.2. That zip. Click power to confirm, and it'll start to install. And that will pretty much do it. I'm going to give it a super wipe. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. I know there are a lot of people out there confused about how to flash this ROM. It's pretty simple once you uh, uh, see a good instructional on it. Um, I myself had some problems at first, uh, but I got it down pretty well. I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, oh, this will take a minute, so I might not even be able to finish uh, this video to show you the boot up screen or anything because I'm running out of time on my camera. But basically, uh, this is the final step. It'll say it's completed uh, flashing the ROM. You just reboot, and uh, you'll be good to go. Um, don't worry if the lock screen is giving you trouble. Usually, the first time it boots up, it's going to give you a little bit of trouble. Just uh, let it sit. Um, keep unlocking and locking the screen with the power button. You'll eventually get the lock screen to boot up. Just you know, unlock it. Uh, set up your stuff. Download ROM Manager, and you're going to want to fix permissions immediately. Um, download your other apps, uh, updates, whatever, and then fix permissions one more time, and you should be good to go after that. But um, anyways, you guys, uh, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe on this video. Uh, follow me on Twitter on any underscore Android. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll be having three videos a week every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on a ROM or an app. Lately, it's been pretty much on ROMs because that's the, the uh, requests that I have been given. Um, but this video is probably going to come to a close before I can show you guys the boot up. 
but this uh, hopefully helps you guys out. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm running out of time on my camera, so uh, hopefully you guys uh, this helped. I'm gonna put this video to a close because it's got my video camera is about to die here. But anyways, uh, this will be the last step, so I'm sure you guys will be okay from that point. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, ask. I don't have any problem helping you guys out. Uh, send me a message, comment, whatever you'd like. I'm pretty quick to respond. As you can see on my uh, past videos, I respond very quickly to questions. So. Uh, anyways, guys, Vinny from Anything Android, and I'll see you guys next time.